Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today for something odd, but very exciting. We're carrying on with the series of looking at and testing which combat elements can attack and beat the strongest force on Earth, which is, of course, the United States Navy Carrier Group. Here is a list of all the stuff that you guys have suggested and stuff that we've done. Some worked, some didn't work. Today, we're trying Star Wars Star Destroyer. Weird, I know, but that's how it is. So we've gone Rogue and we've gone Star Wars. That in front of you is a Star Destroyer. First, let's look at the strength of each force. On the red side, we have one time Star Destroyer. Information about what a Star Destroyer carries is shown on the Twitch on the left. Ivan, who is a Star Wars advocate, in addition to their powerful armament, a Star Destroyer carries troops and vehicles for ground operations and a full wing of TIE fighters, typically 48 fighters, 12 bombers and 12 boarding craft. So that's what we've got. In terms of the US carrier group, a lot of you will be watching for this for the first time, so we'll explain what we do. We have the same setup every time. What we would call a relatively realistic carrier group within the last 20 years, we have a Nimitz class nuclear powered 100,000 ton supercarrier in the middle here. There are a series of support vessels in the middle, non combat vessels. On the flanks, we have four times Aegis destroyers of the early Burke class. We have two times frigates ahead. We have two times Tycho cruisers behind in a 15 by 10 nautical mile formation. Forward and stern by 10 miles, we have submarines. In the air, ready to fight, we have two times fully cap equipped FA 18Cs with an E2 Hawkeye AWACS. On the carrier, now a real life carrier carries about 90 to 100 aircraft we believe but available to fight this war in the next few minutes are going to be about 30, a little bit more. We've got 20 times FA-18Cs which are equipped with four times anti-shipping harpoons each which they will be firing at the Star Destroyer of course. They have AMRAMs and they have uh, sidewinders and tanks and stuff like that. As well as that, there are 10 F-14B Tomcats. Yes, Tomcats are old, but they work really well. They work better than Hornets with a massive long-range AIM-54. So we thought it'd be cool to have them in as air-to-air. -air. And they're fully equipped with the best Phoenixes that were ever made. So that is a very potent force of 30-plus anti-shipping Hornets plus air-to-air long-range interceptors. It includes Simba, who is our human pilot in an F-14B. Say hello, Simba. Hello. That's you on the ramp ready to go on the catapult. The situation is the carry group is at a very narrow point at the jaws of the Strait of Hormuz in or near the Persian Gulf. One of the many weak points like the Suez Canal, like the Dardanelle, where the carry group may have to traverse historically and make it vulnerable because it's close to the edges and stuff like that. We will follow the normal rules in that if the bad guys could potentially be detected by the E2 Hawkeye and we're going to have to assume that a Star Destroyer can, it's probably got a very large radar our cross section then the baddies have to start at least 70 nautical miles away we've got this star destroyer group at over 70 nautical miles away so everything's fair and square just so you know the programming i've programmed the blues just to go into the persian gulf all the firing all the maneuvering everything like that's going to be done by the ai we're not going to touch anything apart from simba's one plane that he controls the red's pretty much the same. We've got a Star Destroyer that's programmed to go towards the carrier and attack the carrier. I've just told it to use automatic weapons, so whatever weapons it fires is going to be whatever it fires. The TIE Fighters do not have any air-to-ground ability, at least in DCS, they're air-to-air, -air, so they are going to fly pretty much as a blob towards the carrier group and just shoot anything they can in the air. That's the best we've been able to program them to do. Predictions. We have not run this through. We did a couple of tests just to make sure that everything worked, but we've absolutely not run this through. And I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. So to recap, a relatively modern and realistic USN carrier group with a total of 34, 35 aircraft armed and ready to go versus 48 TIE fighters and an active Star Destroyer. Best guess, Simba. A Tomcat can take a TIE Fighter and a He thinks and a the Tomcat can take the TIE Fighter and the dogfight. Right, well, you've heard it first here, folks. Let's go and set up for the battle. Three, two, one. Let the fight begin. There we go. TIE Fighters are off to do their thing. Meow. And the big mama. We've clocked her at just over 200 knots IAS. So she will move at some speed, as you can see. Look at that. The TIE Fighters have flown off to uh, protect their mothership. Look at them go. Wow, look at them. Coolest thing ever, question mark? Oh, look at them. Look at the power of them. 
supersonic and it oh my god that blew up what happened we just lost basically all of the tie fighters i don't know why why did that happen as ever that did not happen in practice valued viewers uh you suck it up they've done they've killed themselves mostly it's, it's a sonic boom or something they just blew up oh well we promised to run it through and we're gonna run it through Jesus, this is, let's face it, bloody amazing, as we like to say in my native country. Mother, look at the mothership, looking at her little children. Oh my goodness, my little children, they're all blowing up and ting. Right, shouldn't it make some noise? Okay, Simba, I suggest you get airborne so your mates can do it. Just press salute and it'll go. I did, it didn't go. Okay, have you, you're not hooked up to the lug, I can see that. You're not hooked up, so. You need to go forwards. Just go forwards. Okay. I'm in full burn. That's weird. Try to salute again. Yep. Embarrassing. Get a new jet. I don't know what's going on there. The AIs are not moving, and that worries me why the AI are not moving. This is the kind of weird stuff that we get when we do these uh, these reenactments. There. Okay. It was because you were bugging all the AI for some reason. AI are now moving. To reiterate, we've got a total of 35, I think, aircraft. Uh, only some of them you can see here. The others will actually come up on on, um, on lifts, elevators, whatever you call them. I don't think they're going to get airborne in time, Simba. They're taking so long to airborne. Oh, missiles are out. Missiles are out. What the? Swear word is that? SM2s are out. Oh, the AMRAMs are out. Oh, these Hornets are firing. Jesus, I do not know what to look at. At this point, they just blew up again. I think they're hitting each other. They're hitting each other. The TIE Fighters. Oh, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks great, but that's a little stupid. Maybe I put them too close to each other value viewers. In fact, that's almost certainly what happened. Well, some of these things you just don't know until you try the final thing. Never mind. Let's carry on for a little while and see what happens. Oh, Amrams are coming in. Oh my god, in the face. Okay, the shields are not the shields are not invulnerable to Amrams. They can be hit, guys. Oh, all kinds of S's going on here. Big dog fights going on. I feel a bit sorry for the Americans if I'm honest. SM2s are coming in. SM2s are coming in. Oh goodness gracious me. Big dogfight going on here. Okay, where are these how SM2s doing? These are standard missiles being fired by the ships. And they cannot track the TIE Fighters. They're not tracking. They're blowing through. Maybe that one here, I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many! Boom! No, they're all missing. These SM2s are not tracking. They're just missing. Maybe they have some kind of stealth technology valued viewers. Who knows at this point? Oh, got a dogfight! Weirdest dogfight in the world, I know. Valued viewers are saying the TIE Fighters do not have shields. They do not have shields. They are fully susceptible to kinematic damage. And this TIE Fighter is easily outmaneuvering this Hornet. Really is too much to watch at this point, Valued viewers. I don't know what I'm supposed to watch. There's a Sidewinder. There's an AIM-7 out. The AIM-7 is tracking question mark i think they have a reduced rcs or maybe this is going to track look yes look at that that was a tie fight oh it's a harpoon a harpoon's out after the ship oh my god this is amazing that's an agm 84d harpoon out from an unknown quantity i don't know what's firing oh the planes are the f-14s are taking off now they've sent the cap out first to go ahead take the tie fighters down all sorts of ships firing. They were a minute ago. Oh, Harpoons are going up to the big Star Destroyer. TIE Fighters are in retreat. TIE Fighters are in retreat. They've had too much damages. What's happening here? Oh, they use chaff. They use typical earthbound chaff valley viewers. We're learning about them. That Hornet has bitten off a bit more than they can chew, I think, valued humans. 
I think he's holding his own. He's holding his own. Come on, Mr. American. Guns, guns, guns. Just cannot get a solution. Cross. There's just too much going on. The TIE fighters are falling. They just... There was just too many problems with them. Now SM2 is going to get him. No. They're still evading. Uh, what to watch? What to watch? The harpoons have still got a while to go. We must have fired 100 SM2 so far. Maybe more than 100. But the fact is, they're winning. The Americans are winning, sorry. They just wiped those TIE fighters out. And I must say, Valley viewers, half of them were wiped out by them crashing into each other, which is my fault. I told them to go close. I didn't realise they would just be stupid and crash into each other. You can hear the TIE fighters engine over the... Um, over the... F-18. How does the fuel work? How does the fuel work in a TIE fighter? I need you guys to tell me that. You just kind of get a solution on him. Those TIE fighters are super manoeuvrable. Oh, oh this guy's going to be here. He's not. He's moving slow for some reason. Some kind of secret manoeuvre to make him evade missiles by going slow and down like that. It's very interesting technology that we're seeing here. Needless to say, this is the first time we've seen this. Anything like this. These SM2s just can't track look. He's using some kind of stealth manoeuvre. And the chaff is just... Oh, the Tomcat's around! Oh, the M-Timbers around for the Tomcat Rider! It's getting big! It's getting big. Are you up in the air yet, Simba? Supersonic Tomcats. Nope. One thing you shouldn't mess with in the world. I've got an M7 out on this guy here. Oh, he's going to get here. Oh, tons of his Archer! They are not immune to missiles. This is wonderful news. Uh oh, we might have a friendly fire incident. No, we're good. The I hate to say it, but they've wiped out the uh, the tie fight. Oh, proper man going on. Oh no, the Tomcat's down. The Hornet's down. The only way they can do it is maneuver kill. And now they're about to hit the ship. The Star Destroyer is coming in with the aging mate TAD. Oh, where is it? Oh, he's misunderstood. No, he's going up. He's going straight up to the belly of the thing. That's where the tie fighters come out. You see the racks where they sit. Oh, he's missed. He's got confused. The coding. Now the thing about these valued viewers, harpoons are not designed in real life or in the game to take out Star Destroy. He's got a hit! No, he's not. They're not designed to hit. You can see the missile is confused about the altitude of the target. He might get him here. Missed him again. They have an impact fuse, so once they hit, they will hurt. Is Darth Vader using the force? Maybe. Oh, he's gonna get him. It's impact, impact. And we've got damage. Now he's gonna have a lot of life by the looks of it. These guys are just chasing. Well, they can hurt them. Oh, something just came back against him. I don't know what attack the abilities the Star Destroyer has. We're just going to find out the hard way. Okay. Right, you've got to send everything in. Get back in as an order and send everything against these guys. And just shoot it. Drop bombs on it. Do something with it. So far, it's not taking any damage per se. But I am seeing impact on its body. So stuff is happening. Whoops. It's kind of hard to watch. It's not really set up to watch it in DCS very well. Where are these missiles? Oh, I can see them. Look, they're around. Look, you see them just darting about, trying to figure it out. Little missile. I just heard them blow up. One hit. Oh, look, it hit him in the rear and hit him in the aft in the booster section. Must be those ion drives. Oh, and another hit on the belly. A hit on the belly. We are taking impacts. And another hit. They're hitting. I'm not joking, they're hitting. Yeah, multiple hits on the exterior now. And more missiles coming in, more hits. Oh, look at that. Behemoth. I think... Have we run out of harpoons? It's getting damaged. One pixel of life is off its life. It's been chased by more, more harpoons. Oh, the Tomcats are coming in! Tomcats are coming in! Can they attack it? Oh, intercept! Now, that is something you don't see every day, value viewers. Now, here's a big problem. That Tomcat is not coded in this game to attack that. So, I don't think it's going to do anything. But let's face it, that's an interesting scene. That's an interesting scene. Okay, most of these harpoons have hit. He's two pixels of life down now. Things are getting interesting. And a new spree of harpoons are out, uh, lots and lots. Now here's the interesting thing, these guys here are programmed to attack the Star Destroyer, and they are! They've just sent these missiles out. The AGM-84s which they're carrying, there, you can see them firing now. Oh, this is gonna be a game changer. 
They're firing these missiles here, the AGM-84D air-to-surface harpoon. Go, American heroes. Go! Wow, he's brave. He is brave. Oh, that's... They're, they're, S is about to happen here. You know me, I don't like swearing, but S is about to happen. Where is it? There it is. Oh, hit! Hit! Oh, heavy hit after heavy fit. Fit? Hit. I'm about to have a goddamn fit. Don't say God. Oh, two hits in the booster section. Each one of these ADM-84Ds is packing about 200... No, about 440 pounds of explosive, I think. And that is registering. I know it should have shields. Maybe the shields don't work on Earth. Maybe they've turned it off for sport. Who knows how these aliens work? Yes, I did watch Predator the other day. Okay, we've got a merge from the Hornets now. Hornets be like, what do I do now? Impacts. They're smartening. The Americans are getting smarter. They're learning. It's a learning computer. Look at those hits, value viewers. Now the Star Destroyer is going down. The thing is, are they going to have enough harpoons to do it? This guy hasn't even fired his harpoons yet. More hits. Let's check his health. Three pixels of health. I don't think they've got enough harpoons to do this. Shipborne, the S models uh, are coming from the ship. The D models come from the air. Sorry for my mistake earlier on. You know what I mean. That one there is... Yep, that one's struggling. If you're wondering what that stuff down there is, I'm guessing it's something to do with the propulsion. Oh, this is amazing. More hits going on here. Oh, look at all of those swarming. Now, what are these Hornets going to do once they've dropped their load? I really don't know what they're doing at this point. Okay, they're going back in. They're going back in for another shot. These Americans are not going to see their carrier defeated. I want to see gun runs. Simba, are you going to get in the game or what? I'm in. I'm flying. Well, go and shoot him with your freaking guns and drop bombs on him. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Okay, they're going back in for attacks. Oh, it's a missile out of the game. 44 DL. That missile's out. Two missiles in. And going defensive. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, and he's going in with guns, 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 by the looks of it. This is genius. Lots of pixels. There's about a fifth of health down now. Where is Simba? Where Everyone wants to see Simba do well in life and in... De there he is! He's coming in! Simba! Fire a will! You can probably bad dog some missiles in there or something. Probably get close. This thing is so big, you can get quite close. And you're still actually several miles away. Look at that. <laughs> Supersonic Simba. It's Simba's birthday, by the way, everyone. Happy birthday, Simba. He's not listening. He's concentrating on attacking the Thank Star Destroyer. You. As I would. Right, everyone wants to see you do a please don't crash into it. You can probably fire a sidewinder and they'll hit it if you fire it dumb. Get the ACM switch open. Right, there he goes. Oh, I'm 54 and a foot! Oh, look at that, I'm 54! Oh, they've hit! They've hit! And guns, guns, guns! Oh, don't hit the control tower! That! is a brave soul, boys. Look at that. Moldable hit after hit after hit with phoenixes. Look at that. They'll go for those bell things on the top. They need taking out, I reckon. Where is it? Where is it? Yes, he's rolling back in. This is true American heroism, valued viewers. It's actually going quite fast. <laughs> actually going quite fast. Grr. Grr. Yes, hits. So big, you have to put loads of lead on those guns. Pull out, sir! Pull out! Pull out! Oh, green leader's off! Yeah! Round again, sir. Nice. The good thing is, valued viewers, whoa! It doesn't appear to be firing back so far. I've seen nothing offensive from it. I don't know what weapons it's got because I don't know how to even tell. But at the moment, not doing so well. Right. Let's have a look at the overall picture. Oh, lots of harpoons on it still. He is break. Oh, he's about to hit them first. He's 10 miles away. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Can you fire your side? I know you can dumb fire your sidewinders. 22 pounds of TNT is better than nothing. Your bullets, your bullets are just dragging because they're so far away. Sidewinder out. Oh, it's seeking the boosters. It's seeking the boosters. Yes, it's... It has a heat seeking. It has a hot engine. We're learning it about it. Absolutely amazing. Fantastical. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. He's going for a belly attack. Maybe. There's a weak point. 
Maybe put your face in that area where the TIE Fighters come out of. Yes, another aim seven. Oh, Adore Dimbak, 70 pounds of TNT in his underbelly. That's absolutely beautiful. Dogfight, Star Destroyer versus Tomcat. You've got three Phoenixes left, Simba. You've got three Phoenixes left, by the way. Get them right in the aft section. I want to see TNT in those boosters. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire, 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 fire. Yes! <laughs> Three big hits in the booster section. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Right, lead. If you've got no guns left, I suggest you get underneath it and put your face into that belly section where the TIE Fighters come out of. That's the best I can think of doing. Also, don't forget to drop your fuel tanks over him on the way. Actually, you can't control it. Just give him a face full of something. Give him a face full of American cheese. Oh, challenge accepted. I'm going to put these More tanks hits. on the, on help the him burn. deck. And help him burn. Everyone wants to see you burn. Right, it's difficult because you have to tell the guy to do it. And there's a delay of like five seconds. It is incredibly frustrating. Oh, I can see the carrier. Near enough. Now go do your face. I can see the carrier. He's about to use his sonic phaser. He's going to use his sonic phaser. Right, here we go. Here we go, valued viewers. Oh. Hello, boys. I'm back. On the inside it's beautiful it's just so something's firing guns something's firing guns what the heck's going on now break uh we've got uh uh, uh... Oh! oh the cannons are firing see where is firing get some you mother all of the ships are firing oh it's beautiful bits and chunks are falling off it dang 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 Dang, dang, dang. The Sea Wiz is on full fire. Full fire. Everything they can possibly fire at. Oh my god, what am I even looking at now? I don't know anymore. Oh, the explosions. Oh, it's getting too much right now. I can't quite focus on what's going on. Oh, it's, it's hurt. It's hurt. It's a third dead. It's a third dead. Oh, I don't want to say it's too late, but he's about to use his sonic phaser. Oh, another Tonga launches into the battle of death. Into the valley of death we go as it comes over. It's coming over, Simba! It's coming over! It's gonna do it. We're launching again, Simba. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Launch again, you might get another belly hit before he uses his Oh, the sequence! <laughs> Impact. <laughs> that is the uh, carrier using a sea whiz. <laughs> hits. Small hits after small hits. I don't know. I've asked the Straw Destroyer to fire, but it's not firing. It's turning. Maybe it has to turn to use its sonic blaster. That thing there opens up in the middle of Valley Viewers and fires a massive green thingy. Yes, Simba, go. You don't need no catapult. You don't need no ghost. Now go and you go. Oh yes, go and launch some vertical phoenixes or whatever. That's an hors d'oeuvre. Firing something down here. I don't know what it's firing. Jesus Christ, it's just gone by. It's just, it's like, gone by. I don't know why. Oh, another Tomcat. Oh, it's taking more hits. More oh, big cannon hits in the aft section. He's just immortal. Get those big phoenixes out, sir. Let's go. I see cannons hitting it. He's making a right turn to go back on the carrier. He's lining up for the carrier. Fire to the fire to Lord Earth. More hits. I think the Ticos are even joining in now. Yeah, the Ticos are firing now. They were. Not anymore. Oh my goodness. This is an absolute nightmare. Okay, so yeah, it's turning right here to come round behind the carrier by the looks of things. Which is bad. Oh, all these AGMs have locked onto the wrong vessel. Tell me they haven't just done what I think they're going to do. They've locked onto the wrong vessel. Friendly fire. They've sunk their own Tico. Oh, no. 
Why did that happen? Star Destroyer doesn't even have to attack anything. That is one dead Tico, I'm afraid. Oh, it's on fire. It's on fire. Oh, I've never seen anything so sad. Yes, yes, good missile Simba, what are you firing? Oh, they're hitting a the shield. They're hitting a the damn shield. Oh, did you just hit, hit, hit it with your own face? <laughs> that was funny. It's hard to judge the, the thing, because where is that Tico that's just destroyed? It is making a weird turn. Yes, it is. It is. I'm so lost. Where the heck is everything? Is that the carrier? That's the carrier back there. I don't know what it's doing, Valued Viewers. I think it's just forgotten about the... I think it's just left. Oh, it's firing lasers. It's firing green lasers. I saw green lasers come out. And they've stopped coming out. Man, I don't know how to use this thing at all. But it is very cool. Oh, there's the Tico that's blown up. Look. Oh, that's... That's never good. It is now firing back at the ships. Oh, the two... There are T2. Tico's down. One's sunk. And one is on fire. That's not so good. Sorry, I can't hold the camera still. That there. Or is that a destroyer? No, that's a that's a Tycho, isn't it? Right. I think he's just sailed through, sunk a couple of cruisers. Oh, and an Arlie Burke. And an Arlie Burke is out. Is he c t trying to come back around again? How on all the destroyers? Only one destroyer's up. N it's not easy to... S no, he's just heading cold now. Both cruisers have gone, two and a half destroyers have gone, and one destroyer's alive. What an absolute nightmare. And he was firing some green lasers as well. But he stopped doing that now. He started shooting air things down as well now. I see air things blowing up that aren't... I don't know what that's all about. I've got row, another row, row harpoon. What is this? He's firing green lasers! Yes, he's now firing green lasers! Air to air. He's shooting all our hornets down. I don't know why he didn't do it before. But he's doing it now. <laughs> he shot a harpoon down. I think he's bugged in that he can only fire backwards or something like that. Because he's shooting. Everything he goes past, he blows up. Which is interesting. Interesting piece of coding. But that appears to have stopped now. He shot all of the harpoons that were trailing him down. I think that's it. We've managed to damage... A third. We've taken a third of his health down. And the rest of the... Okay, the rest of the aircraft have just... They're not programmed to do anything else once they attack. I just programmed them to hold. I should have, told, I should have programmed them to come back and re-attack. But I didn't obviously think it was going to end like this. So, Okay, someone's firing something. Uh, this guy is firing harpoons. Harpoons going after him. Very valiant, sir. danger is they go rogue. Remember, harpoons are far and forget. They will lock onto their own target. There's always a chance to lock onto the wrong target. Very dangerous firing harpoons in your own backyard. So you taking off? It is. It's almost like he was sympathetic towards the carrier and just didn't touch it. Oh, he's going mental. It's just destroying the ocean. He's just firing at the ocean. I don't know why. I think he's just toying with the carrier group. Look at that. He just nuked that area of sea. For no apparent reason. Here's the harpoon skiding. Something's happening back here, I don't know what. Americans are not giving in. They're not going down easily. Okay, can't fire his green crap at this for some reason. I'd be interested to know where he can fire his guns. Oh, here it goes. Is it firing the green stuff at you? Oh, it's got laser. I see it's got laser turrets. It's firing lasers. They weren't working before for reasons I don't know. Yep, he's firing. He's firing at you. Me. Oh, run, Simba, run! Oh, my God. 
my god! I see you! I see you! I see you! Oh, I've just blown you to pieces! Oh my god! That's the end of our beloved Simba! Wow! Wowee! Right! Oh, something else is happening now! Oh, he's firing at me! Oh, he got us! He is just nailing everything that comes near him now. Oh, he just nailed a couple of harpoons. I wonder why he wasn't attacking before. Isn't that weird? He got to a certain waypoint and then just started attacking. But there you go. I think that's the end of it. So, I mean, we don't try these things before because if you do, well, then we know what's going to happen. And to be honest, it's going to be boring. And there's no point of doing this if it's boring. So what we did is we sent him to attack the carrier and because of that because we sent him to, oh, all the planes are out now. because we did that he refused to shoot anything for reasons i don't know why and then as soon as he reached that waypoint reached the carrier and he no longer had that command then he started attacking everything and i think he uh, we had some friendly fire with a cruiser and then he shot a bunch of ships uh, not the carrier for some reason and now he's shooting everything that comes near him anything airborne he just blows up so weird but that's just the way it is so I would have to call that a Star Destroyer win because if I hadn't coded him weirdly, he would have shot down all of those planes, which I must admit would have been would have been fun to watch. <laughs> but, you know, I, that's the way it is. And if I hadn't coded him weirdly, he probably would have nuked the carrier as well. Uh, but on the plus side, he is uh, a third damage. So you did put, a, you know, a serious bit of TNT into him. So lessons have been learned how you can take these guys on. Essentially, I would say just stay clear. That would be my advice, really. I have nothing else to add. Um, he's invincible now because he's got his gun turrets working. Anything you want to add, Simba? I think I survived the engagement longer than the other guy that does these with you. Yes, he did. So I'm happy with yeah, that. Yeah, but don't tell him. Don't uh, tell him. We'll not do that. We'll not do that. Right. Um, I hope you enjoyed that Otherwise Valued viewers, and we'll see you on the next one.